but yeah. So anyway, so Jonah Hill wasn't uh, wasn't cool, man. Man, I'll tell this story. I haven't told this story publicly, but yeah. So one so, uh, Tr- uh Sting's wife Trudy was wonderful and lovely to work with. She played our mother. Oh, cool. And then also uh, Jemima Kirk from Girls. She's the English. Oh, I know that. Never that name. From yeah. Girls, oh, real yeah. pretty, super sexy she voice. She plays the kind of the love interest yeah. involved with uh, the antagonist brother in the show. And they were wrapped, and it was after this. Uh, there's this big climactic scene, and it was shot in the middle of production. So they wrapped, and they were done after that. So real quick, the whole family and everybody around it was in, you know, dressed up for this scene, and it was a perfect picture opportunity. So the production wanted a picture of the family, you know, just in case the show gets whatever nominated for an Emmy or whatever, you know, whatever happens, just to have just pictures. It's a pretty big of course. So they're like. So Jonah raps. He's shot his thing, and and he he run, runs off set and goes, and and they're like, okay, well we need this picture, and so they they call him, he won't come, and he's not coming back, and finally the the director has to go get him out of his trailer, has to walk out of this courthouse in the Bronx, walk four blocks to Jonah's trailer, get him out, bring him back. He's in street clothes, which is kind of a no no as an actor. You, mm. People still are got to be in character for the rest of the day. There's like, you know. Yeah. 15 more takes to do you know that kind of thing and so he comes in flip flops and his t-shirt and everybody's been sitting there waiting for a, basically a family photo for about 15 minutes I guess like in a department store Tw- maybe, t- maybe 20 minutes everybody's waiting on this movie star to take this photograph and he literally walks in the room he like ducks in behind all of us and, and as he's walking up he, he goes he goes just so you guys know i don't like this stuff click and then he leaves and that was when i realized that like you know i was giving i I like giving people the benefit of the doubt you know whatever it's not we didn't we weren't we weren't friends we didn't put each other in our cell phones or anything but that's when i realized like oh hi this dude's a cocksucker (laughs) this is fucking weird yeah why i don't know man i I don't think i don't like this stuff really (laughs) fuck (laughs) you're a fucking executive producer on the show this is your show you don't like your fucking dream career? This isn't part of it? Interacting with human beings, all ecstatic because they're on a fucking multi-million dollar production, doesn't fucking gas you up anymore? You don't like being around that? You fucking prick. <laughs> <laughs> It was silly, dude. It's like you don't know what you got. You just got no concept of what you got. You can't, You don't like this stuff. We're all happy to be here because you're here, you fucking bitch. That that shit always just enforces that karma doesn't exist. It just reinforces it to me. Whatever, man. Like, how ungrateful you know, could you be? Like, 